Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel and it's Mr. Ankoye once again. In today's video, I walk you through how I color graded these images in Capture One. This, this, and this. How I took from this to this. So stick and stay as I walk you through how I color graded all these images. So first and foremost, I'll reset these images and yeah, I will start from scratch. Okay, so I'll select the very first one I'll be using for the tutorial session. Looking at the image, it's really short well and what I want to do is to give it a muted kind of um, look and also make my subject stand out a lot more better. Looking at how the greens are looking, I want to work on the greens also and also the skin tone of my subject. So the very first thing I'll do is, one thing I like about Capture One is it gives you room to create um, layers and also there are some other features in Capture One that uh, makes it easy for me to carry out my workflow. So I'll create my new field adjustment layer this way. When it comes to color grading, what I mostly do is I look at what actually I look at what is going on with my with my image and how I can make it right or I can make it look better. So looking at this image, I would want to enhance the skin tone and also make my subject stand out. The very last thing is to work on my greens, how it's looking in this image. The very first thing is I will start with my contrast and exposure. And for me, color grading actually starts from color correcting your images. So I'll add a contrast of plus five to the image this way. Already I've created the field layer and I'll add the saturation of plus five also to the image. So these are subtle adjustments that I've applied to the image. You can see from the video. And I'll lift up my circles to plus five too, like that. And looking at the highlights, I would want to really and looking at the highlights, I would want to reduce it and uh, retain a bit more details in my highlights too. Yeah. And fast forward, I'll move into my color tab. One way you can actually um, see what you're actually doing to your image is to play with the saturation slider to know where the individual uh, components of the image is being affected. So inside the saturation, when I dial down the reds, you can see there are reds in there, but not so much dominant. So I wouldn't touch my reds. Now move on into the oranges. So inside the oranges, what I'll do is, I'll bump up the saturation a bit to plus three and reduce the lightness a bit to minus three um, to give it a bit of um, richness to the skin tone. And inside the hue, I would want to move it a bit into the rest. So minus three, uh, minus two is fine for me. So you can see where we started from and where we got into. And we have a lot of yellows and greens going on here. So what I'll do is inside my yellows, I'll dial down the saturation to minus around minus 60 is fine. And also reduce my luminance a bit. Come around this spot is fine. And yeah, I think gradually we are making progress here. So I'll also move into the greens. Okay, so inside my greens, what I'll do is I'll try and change the hue a bit to somewhere around here and the saturation to I'll dial it down to uh, minus 35. I may come back to adjust some few things and inside the lightness to I'll dial it down to actually bring that kind of separation I want in my image. So here's where we started from and here's where we are now, before and after, before and after. Yeah. So yeah, I don't have so much upwards in the shot. I also don't have so much blues in this particular image. 
so as the other colors do. So what I'll do is I'll quickly move into the skin tones just like that to actually um, work on my skin tone. I would want to give it a bit of um, saturation and also richness to it. So what I'll do is I'll pick up my color picker, select a portion of the skin and to actually see what has happened to your image, the selected areas, you have to view selected color range just like that. So as you can see, these are the portions that are selected. And the portions that are grayed out are the portions that are not selected. So any selected area in the picture would be seen not grayed out. So the grayed out portions are the portions where um, the selection doesn't affect. Yeah, so I will try and adjust and open my selected region a bit so that I target the colors very well for me. So what I will do in there is, because I want to add some richness to the skin tone, I will increase my saturation a bit to this side, somewhere around plus 20, and reduce the lightness to minus two, minus two is fine. So just as you can see, I've added a bit of richness to my skin tone. So that's the before and after, before and after before and after and one other thing i would do to the image is to, is to move straight into my color balance so inside the color balance what i want to do is looking at uh, my image i uh, would want to add a bit of um, science into my shadows so i'll move my slider into the cyan area like that and add a bit of science into my image just like that so that's the before and that's the after that's the before and that's the after so just as you can see the image is standing out a bit as compared to how it was looking previously as shot from camera yeah because i added a bit of um science into my shadows or blues into my shadows what i'll do is i'll come back into my basic tab into my oranges and add a bit of saturation into the skin so that it actually stands out yeah so we took the image from here straight out of camera shot and we added uh, some sort of grade to it to give it character and interest yeah so we started from here and here we are yeah i like the outcome already and what i'll do right now is to copy the adjustments I've made already and apply it to the other images. So I'll apply it to this image. Wow, this will be nice. And also to this one. Yeah. So to this image, what I'll do is because the previous image is wearing having so much going on in the blues, what I'll do to this image is to change the hue a bit, reduce the saturation, and also reduce the lightness somewhere around here is fine and we are good to go yeah so all these images are actually ready for further processing if you want to retouch your images you can actually do that in photoshop i use photoshop to actually um, retouch my images so all these images were shot outdoors at a location for her birthday yeah and the outcome was really stunning. so this one was shot with a stroke same as this but this one was shot with natural light i really like the session and yeah guys if you have some submissions you want to make you can leave them down in the comment section and also i'm starting my color grading and retouching class so you can hit me up on instagram or probably send me an or probably send me an email at amcostudiosinfo at gmail.com and yeah you arrange and get things done so guys if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming around once again there are more goodies coming your way i'll be doing this more often people do ask me how i calibrate my images and my how my post-production looks like so i'll be doing more of this often photoshop tutorials more often and if this is your first time actually chancing on my content don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share to other creatives. And Charlie, on to the next Charlie, you're going to talk Charlie. Peace.